Welcome to the Big Picture Retirement Show, where you'll learn what it really takes to have a successful retirement. With over 20 years of experience, your host, Rick Rivera of Safeguard Investment Advisory Group has seen it all and is here to help you achieve your retirement dreams. This is the Big Picture Retirement Show. Just want to take the time to thank all of you for tuning in to the Big Picture Retirement Show. I'm your host, Rick Rivera. And those of you that might be new listeners to the show, uh, the Big Picture Retirement Show is really geared towards actually helping individuals that are either planning for retirement, maybe they're five years away from retirement, or maybe they're already retired. And it's helping them give them tools and strategies that will allow them to enhance what it is they've already been able to accomplish when it comes to their retirement planning. Now, if you have any questions regarding any of the topics that I talk about on the show today, please feel free to give us a call toll-free 800-700-1980. Maybe you have questions outside some of the specific topics I'm talking about today and you have want to give us a call, feel free to do so as well, 800-700-1980. You may have questions regarding maybe you have CalPERS or CalSTRS, maybe um you're concerned about social security, your pensions, your uh, 401ks, your IRAs, your SEPs, your KEOs, you know, your trust and will planning, you know, maybe long-term care or a variety of other things or a combination of all those things together. So if you have questions about any of those things, investment planning, all that, feel free to give us a call. And I'd actually be happy to answer your questions directly myself. Again, by calling us at toll-free 800 1980 You can also reach us on the web at safeguardinvestment.com. Again, that website address is safeguardinvestment.com. There is an events tab on our website that you can click on, and it'll give you all the dates and times in the areas in which we're conducting our seminars. If you'd like to stop by and meet me, love to meet you, and uh, we share a lot of good information at our seminars. Now, Keep in mind, those seminars do fill up quickly, so you do have to RSVP. So if you care to do that, again, safeguardinvestment.com or toll-free 800-700-1980. So let's jump right into it. Let's talk about um, the main topic that I want to discuss today, a very important topic, and that's going to be getting back to basics. And what do I mean by getting back to basics? I'm talking about getting back to the fundamentals that big picture, holistic approach that we talk about so much on the radio show and even in the workshops, the seminars. Now, why do I want to talk about the basics, the fundamentals? Because here's what we've been seeing. We know, and most of you have been experiencing the market volatility and been feeling the market volatility. And the other compounding effect is that we've been having inflation. So, you know, somebody that's planning for retirement or maybe, you know, maybe a year or two away and they're like, hey, you know what? I was thinking about planning on retiring this year or next year or the following year. And, you know, now my numbers don't look quite the same and I may have to put off retirement. That's can cause stress, anxiety. But to make matters worse, think about those individuals. And some of you are listening to the show right now that are already retired and markets are down. Maybe investments are down. And if you are let's say the market's down 10% and you need four or 5% to live on. Well, what's going to happen is now you're intensifying your losses. And what's also compounding some of those losses or compounding some of that anxiety is the fact that inflation is increasing. So now if gas prices are going up, food costs are going up, up, fuel is going up, everything across the board is going up and the market's down. This can cause, this is really, you know, basically you know, uh, rubbing salt into the wound, you know, because let's face it, if somebody needs, you know, four or 5% to live on the market's down 10%. Now they're down 15 or 20 going into the following year. You can't exactly call the electric company phone company and say, Hey, listen, can I put you off until the market rebounds? Can't call the property tax collector and say, Hey, listen, the market is down a little bit this year. Do you mind if I put you off until it rebounds again? Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. It'd be nice, but it doesn't work that way. They're going to say, sorry, pay me. So now you're intensifying your losses and then now you may even need to uh, increase your withdrawals even further because your same expenses, you haven't changed anything, but your same expenses have gone up. So this can cause retirees to have anxiety, depression, fear, cause them to make irrational decisions, emotional decisions, and those things are not very good 
when it comes to your overall planning. As a matter of fact, there was a study done and they found out that most retirees or a high percentage of them actually fear running out of money in retirement more than they fear death itself. So here's the thing. People are fearful and what do they do? Well, and again, some of you listening to the show know exactly what I'm talking about. You're very fearful. You panic. Mark is down. You see your, you get your statements. You see your investments are down. And now what do you do? Some of you may panic and sell, put everything in cash, and you're going to wait until the market rebounds again. And you're going to time the market and decide to get back in when the market rebounds again. Others, you know, maybe, you know, you're listening to the news and you see a financial professional on the news making a stock recommendation or some investment recommendation. Or your neighbor is telling you about some investment and you're like, okay, I'm going to sell out of these positions and go into these positions because this investment advisor, you know, said this is going to be the next best thing in this environment. And now you're bouncing around and you're chasing return or you're chasing lack of fear or, you know, you're bouncing from one advisor or broker to another advisor or broker because some other advisor or broker showed you a shiny new object and you're jumping for it. You know, and, and, and this shiny new object is a new chart or graph or some uh, Monte Carlo simulation that they showed you that, you know, hey, you're, you're, you're running to because that's going to be the next best thing going forward. And then you find out in long haul, it's not all quite what you thought it was going to be. So mistakes can happen. So I guess the point is, how do we prevent mistakes from happening? How do we put ourselves in a position where we can make decisions from a disciplined approach rather than our decisions being based on fear. Well, in order to do that, we need to make sure that your plan, your objectives are rock solid. And how do we do that? Well, we need to make sure that the plan that you're in, both short-term, mid-term, and long-term objectives are covered regardless of market conditions. As a matter of fact, they need to be so dialed in that when market volatility occurs and the market's bobbling around, you're in a position where you can say, hey, you know what? I plan for this. As a matter of fact, um, this market has done me a favor and I already have a plan on how I'm going to leverage it in my favor. So when the market's down, you've already planned for that. You don't need to panic. Because you know that under the worst case scenario, should it occur and you plan for it, you don't need to worry. You already planned for it. And if you plan for the worst case scenario and you know you're going to be fine under that scenario because you did plan for it by looking at the big picture, by looking at things from that holistic approach, now you become a more disciplined investor because when bad things happen, you're like, hey, I already planned for it. I got nothing to worry about. Now, of course, if good things happen, well, you don't need to worry about that. You know you're going to you know, do good under those environments, but you have a plan. You have goals. You have objectives. You have something that is tangible. And what I mean by tangible, no guesswork. Because so many advisors out there, let's put it this way. Let me, let me just say this. You know, again, I talked about chasing that shiny object, you know, bouncing around. Somebody shows you a new chart, new graph, you get a new, you know, you're bouncing around because you're so fearful or you just put all the money in cash. Well, here's the thing. No advisor, no guy you're going to listen to on TV is going to be able to guarantee you exactly what, you know, how your stock uh, investments are going to perform. They're not going to be able to tell you exactly what interest rates are going to be. They're not going to be able to tell you how the mutual funds and all the rest of your investments are going to perform. They're not going to be able to tell you, you know, what the next political environment is going to look like and, and all the rest of it. You know, of course, they can give you their best educated guess. But at the end of the day, I have yet to see anybody's crystal ball truly work. Now, those individuals are so busy chasing return in the market. And some people, because of fear, are so busy chasing return in the market that they lose sight over the things that they can actually control to the point that they're reaching over the dollars to pick up the pennies. So what we need to do in order to put ourselves in a position of being able to be a disciplined investor, we need to focus on the things that are within our control and minimize the effects on the things that are out of our control. So I'm going to talk more about this. We're going to take a quick break. 
when we come back, I'm going to jump right in to that, you know, getting back to the basics and sticking to the fundamentals. That way, going forward under any economic environment, you can be rest assured you're covered. You're fine. You don't need to worry. You actually leverage it in your favor. So we're going to take a quick break. When I come back, we're going to finish that up. And again, if you have any questions, give us a call toll free 800-700-1980. I'm your host, Rick Rivera. You're listening to the Big Picture Retirement Show with Rick Rivera. For more information about Rick and the Safeguard Investment Advisory Group team, go to safeguardinvestment.com. While you're there, you can also download educational retirement guides and sign up for an upcoming seminar. That's safeguardinvestment.com. Now back to the podcast. And we're back. Again, you're listening to the Big Picture Retirement Show. I'm your host, Rick Rivera. If you have any questions regarding any of the topics that we discuss on the show, please give us a call, 800-700-1980. I'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions. And you may even have questions outside of some of the topics that I'm discussing here today. If you do, give us a call, toll-free, 800-700-1980. I'd be happy to answer any of those questions directly. Also, if you'd like to hop on our website at safeguardinvestment.com, there's an events tab and you can check out the different locations where we have our seminars and workshops and feel free to RSVP for that. Again, you do have to RSVP for that. Um, There's no cost or obligation to attend. Uh, It'd be a great opportunity. I'd love to meet you directly. You can meet me directly. And we talk a lot about a lot of good information in those workshops, in those seminars, and you can even ask me questions, you know, there too as well. So let's jump right into it. I said, hey, let's get back to the basics. Let's, you know, stick to the fundamentals. And I said, hey, listen, so many advisors out there, so many people are so busy chasing return that they lose sight of the things that they can actually control. So we need to focus on the things that we can control. So let's start off real quick about history. And what I want to tell you is this. History repeats itself over and over and over again. And the question is going to be whether or not we're willing to learn from history. Because if you take a look at our markets historically, what we're experiencing now, is it really that much different than anything we've experienced before in the past? Have our markets experienced war before? Yes. Have our markets experienced inflation before? Absolutely. Have our markets experienced different administrations, different political environments, natural disasters, recessions? How about depressions? But here's what I can tell you. Our markets have recuperated 100% of the time over all those different scenarios that happened not once, but multiple times, even the great depression back in 1929 took 34 months for that market to recuperate 34 months, not 34 years, not 10 years, not five years, 34 months market dropped 84% 1929 or 83% right in that ballpark. And 34 months later, it recuperated. Now here's the thing. If I came to you and I said to you, hey, you know what? I got this market investment you can get into and it has recuperated 95% of the time. You might say, well, Rick, you know, honestly, 95% of the time, that's some pretty good odds. That's not a bad deal. Our market has recovered 100% of the time. So if that is the case, why do people panic? Why do people over and over get anxiety and depression and all this when the markets are going down? And the reason why is because they don't have a plan. They don't have a strategy. There's no game plan involved. So again, it's all guesswork. And when you put your planning based on guesswork, that's where stress starts to come in. And now I'm not saying don't start, you know, reading into what I'm saying, because I know there's brokers out there or advisors out there to say, hey, listen, you know, you just got to hang in there. The market will come back. And yes, it does. But there's more to it than that, than just hanging in there. It'll always come back. Because I know what you're thinking. Well, when? When is it going to come back? You know, can I afford to wait for it to come back? But then this is where the game plan starts to come in. Because the, the important question is what's happening behind the scenes to leverage these things in your favor? Well, number one, we need to make sure that in retirement, and I'll give you a hypothetical. Now, everybody's situation is different and plans need to be structured differently. But if I have somebody that's 100% invested in the market, or a high degree invest in the market and they need income, like I was saying earlier, you know, you need, you know, let's say the market's down 10, you need five to live on, you're now down 15. We're intensifying problems. However, if we're in a situation where the planning is set up where a certain segment of the assets 
are guaranteed and income is secure and guaranteed under any environment. So we don't have all our eggs in one basket and we have some money that is in the market that we don't need to live on. We don't need for emergencies. We don't need for income. Now, when the market is volatile or goes down, not only do we have time for it to come back, but now we can leverage it in our favor because now what's going to happen is when the market is down, we can reallocate our portfolio in such a way where we can scoop up more shares at cheaper prices. We can actually get clearance sales and blue light specials on good fundamental positions. Our interests, our dividends will be able to scoop up more shares at cheaper prices. So when the market you know, is ready to come back again, we have more shares in our bucket and we recuperate that much faster. But then here's the other thing. What about Roth conversions? When the market is down, there's a specific strategy that we use where we can actually get more shares over into our Roth bucket tax-free much more efficiently. So now our investments, not only are we able to scoop up shares at cheaper prices, but now we have a segment of our portfolio that's growing tax-free. And if we can save 10 or 15% in taxes, how easy is it to make that same 10 or 15% in the market? Once again, by controlling the things that we can actually control. Oh, and by the way, what about fees? Controlling fees, internal costs. These are all things that are within our control. And then, of course, risk tolerance. Understanding what an individual's risk tolerance should be. Because everybody's risk tolerance is different. But even though it's different, it doesn't make it right. So what do I mean by that? Well, just because somebody tells me, well, Rick, you know what? I can stomach a 15% volatility of the market. I've been playing the market for 30 years. I know it goes up, it goes down. So, you know, I don't sweat it. And that's fine. But without a plan, without a strategy, can you really afford that level of volatility? So just because you have the stomach for it doesn't necessarily mean that you're positioned for it or that you can afford to take on that level of risk. But if we have a game plan involved that addresses the investments, that also takes your income into consideration, that also takes your expenses into consideration, takes inflation into consideration, and a variety of other parameters, now you're more in the driver's seat. Because when the market is volatile, you now can be in a position where you're like, well, hey, this is a great time for me to do my Roth conversions because I can do those much more efficiently. This is a great time for me to reallocate some of the investments so that way I can scoop up some more of these fundamentally based positions at cheaper prices. I get these blue light specials, these clearance sales, because I know historically this market's going to turn around within six on the high side, maybe 34 months. Because historically, again, the Great Depression lasted 34 months. Everything else after that was less, six months to, again, 34 months in time. So you set it up so you are positioned to do so. And then you make sure all your other internal things are working for you in your favor. Again, such as fees and costs. If we can reduce those, that actually enhances your return. Because I can't tell you how many times I see people and I see their investments and I'm looking at their portfolios and I notice that their current broker or advisor, or maybe they're managing their accounts themselves and they didn't realize that they were entitled to a break point or discount on their fees and commissions or whatever their structure is. And they're able to save maybe 1% in fees. Now you might say, well, Rick, 1% doesn't sound like much, but hey, on a hundred thousand dollars investment, that's a thousand dollars a year. Somebody listening to the show right now, maybe you have a $500,000 portfolio. That's $5,000 a year. Now compound that over a period of years, that's tens of thousands of dollars. And how many extra shares would that money have bought you over the years? Or how much of that extra money could we have converted to a Roth for you? And the other thing too, which is a big tie into it, is what about Social Security? If we structure the investments and the income correctly, we may even be able to save or eliminate taxes on Social Security income just by controlling the structure of the investments and the income. So now, again, this is something that we can control. And I don't want to sound like a broken record, but again, if we can save you 10 or 15% in taxes, how easy to make that same 10 or 15% in the market? If we can save you 10 or 15% or 20% in taxes on your Social Security, how easy to make that same 
amount in the market. So now we're saving here, we're saving here, we're saving here, we're enhancing here. That all ties in. And that's what you know we mean by looking at things from that big picture, holistic approach when it comes to the investments is having strategy. You know, those of you that have non-retirement accounts, are those accounts being tax managed? How many people are listening to this right now with a blank stare on the face? What do you mean tax managed? You know, there's ways to manage those investments to make sure they're being tax managed so you're not being hit with unnecessary short-term gains each year. There's tax cost harvesting strategies. You know, so many times we'll sit down with a person and their portfolio, there's a high turnover ratio in their portfolio. There's a lot of buying and selling, buying and selling going on within one year. And now they're paying short-term gains versus long-term gains, which is 30 to 50% more, not to mention the extra fees and commissions on top of it. So again, you know, the show goes by so fast and I can go on. However, here's the point that I want to make. If you have questions about this and you want to know, hey, is my plan looking at the basics? Is it looking at the fundamentals? Is there areas where I can enhance? Is there a way for me to position myself so I don't have to have that anxiety and I don't have to keep chasing that new shiny object, you know, because I'm so worried about loss. I'm so fearful of my income running out. Feel free to give us a call right now, toll free, 800-700-1980. And I'll be happy to offer you an analysis where we can review your situation and let you know if there's anything you can do to enhance what it is. So that way you can be in the driver's seat. You can become a much more disciplined investor. If you care to take advantage of that, give us a call right now, 800-700-1980. Unfortunately, that brings me to a close on the show today. And there's many more things I would love to cover here. But again, due to short amount of time on the show, I got to kind of, you know, gloss over things. But if you'd like specific information about your scenario, because some of you may work for Kaiser, maybe you work for the gas company, electric company, you get a lump sum and you're like, Rick, hey, I don't know if it's better for me to get the lump sum or the monthly payment that they're going to guarantee me. What's going to be best for me? You know, some of you, got, again, got CalPERS, CalSTRS, or Social Security. How do I minimize Social Security? And Rick, I know you talked about that Roth conversion stuff. You didn't go into much detail on the show, but hey, can you let me know if that's something that would pertain to me? Or maybe you have trust or will card. Just give us a call. We'll take a look at all that for you. No cost, no obligation. It's just an opportunity to get to know each other and, of course, answer any questions you do have. So give us a call, 800-700-1980. That brings us to the close of the show. I want to thank everybody for listening. And also, if you have any input as to what topics you'd like us to cover, feel free to give us a call too. Don't forget to check us out on the web, safeguardinvestment.com. Again, this is the Big Picture Retirement Show. I'm your host, Rick Rivera. Have a great day. Looking forward to talking to you next week. Firm offers insurance services. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is a registered investment advisory firm. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any references to protection, safety, or lifetime income generally refer to fixed insurance products, never securities, or investments. Insurance guarantees are backed by the financial strength and claims-paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This radio show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual situation. Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC, is not permitted to offer and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Safeguard Investment Advisory Group, LLC. This radio show is a paid placement.